Hey guys, so usually I don't do a voiceover for my unboxing videos, but I felt like I kind of had to do one for this particular unboxing because I had an unusual experience. Um, so yeah, I decided to go with a Helios 300 because to be honest, mid 2020, there's not that many new gaming laptops coming on uh, for sale. And I guess the Helios is one of the ones that's more intriguing for me. Um, so yeah, I decided to see what it's really all about. Inside, you get pretty usual stuff. Um, documentation such as quick start guide, your warranty details and your user manuals. But you also get something pretty interesting, which is a CD. Now bear in mind the Helios doesn't have a CD player. The fact that they give you a CD kind of doesn't make any sense. You also get some nice stickers included, which matches the Predator logo actually. So good job by Acer there. Inside the box you also have the power adapter. This time it's quite simple and like the ones uh, from the Razer Blade 15 which is proprietary and seems more well built. But this one is just the usual. But they also give you a ribbon cable which you can plug in a hard drive later on if you want to upgrade. As well as some screws. Now, the way they packaged this reminded me a lot of the Razer Blade 15 in that the actual laptop was separated from the rest. And they did a very good job with the fluorescent blue Predator logo. Inside, you have the laptop wrapped in a very soft fleece bag. I think it's probably the softest fleece bag that I've ever felt um, when unboxing a laptop. So definitely be rest assured that your Helios is going to be nicely packaged. Um, now initial impressions of holding the laptop was that it felt thinner in the hands than it looked on pictures. And even looking at the video now, it does look a lot chunkier than it felt in my hands. Maybe it's just me, but yeah, it's, it's definitely a slimmer feeling device. Build quality from initial impressions, obviously not going to be as good as the blade, um, considering a lot of the panels are made from plastic. But yeah, in general, pretty solid. And I also really love the fact that um, the power cable is connected through the back. So it really frees up a lot of space for your mouse area and you don't have to have this finicky um, cable running next to your mouse or next to your hand. Now immediately I realized that something was up because it took a lot of time for the laptop to actually boot and show the Predator logo. And before the logo was actually shown, um, the keyboard was actually flickering quite a lot. So I thought that something might be a bit off here, but didn't think too much of it until I saw this screen and yeah, I was expecting to see the usual Windows 10 initial setup screen, but yeah, I am presented with this. So I immediately check the box and to my kind of prediction, it does say it doesn't ship with any OS or operating system. So actually the CD that they included was, I think, the Linux um, operating system, but it kind of didn't make sense because there was no way you could install Linux because it didn't have any CD player. To be fair, it was actually my mistake because I bought the laptop pretty early on um, when the website that I bought from didn't have all of the specifications listed. So I should have contacted them. I made sure everything was was what I wanted. So yeah, if you're considering a Helios 300, make sure it comes with Windows 10, obviously, if you want it, or any other laptop for that matter, make sure it comes with an operating system. Don't make the same mistake as I did because then it's quite a hassle. As for me, I'm going to be exchanging this laptop with one that has Windows 10 pre-installed. So yeah, you can expect my review coming soon. Cheers.